Hello guys, uh, I always start off by saying um, I'm going to be showing you something which is probably on YouTube a lot, actually. It's kind of stupid why I'm showing you this. But I downloaded a PSX emulator. The other day I was thinking, I haven't played on a PS1 in like years. So I thought, I wonder if you can get a PSX emulator and then. As it turns out, you can. Now, I downloaded EPSXE, or something, something, something like that, and you need a, a lot of different files, which I just didn't get when they didn't come with them. You need, like, the BIOS, graphics drivers, sound drivers, and, or plugins, as they're called, and I just didn't have them. So what I used is Torrent. Now, I got one of these PSXFin.ra, which comes with everything inside, and I also downloaded one of my favourite games, which was Oddworld. I did try to get Tomb Raider, but it was kind of hard to get, and I didn't really know if my emulator could play NTSC games, so I just stuck with this for a while. Now, what I'm using here is a Fox 360 controller. Now, I have turned off the sound, and I'm not sure if I can turn it back on. Anyway, yeah, I'll go back into the emulator now, and I hope you can just do without the sound. So what we'll do, we'll just insert our CD image, which is Oddworld, and the game should start playing, hopefully. Obviously, the resolution looks really shit, because it actually is, I suppose. But if we went up into full screen, uh, we're actually in 1080p, which looks pretty stupid. It's very pixelized in this uh, sort of format. It runs perfect, though. I mean, it's not even using my graphics card. It's using my integrated graphics card, which is a Intel HD something. So any computer can do this. Uh, I can skip all this. I've set up my controls properly. Properly, sorry. I'll show you my controls now. As you can see here, Xbox 360 wireless receiver and we have it pretty much tells you what to do the only bit confusing was the down and up and left and right arrows are the wrong way around like down is up and left is right and vice versa but that was the only odd bit and the others are ok and the triggers are obviously uh, L2 and R2 so I'll just uh, cont continue from where it was earlier so I don't know why he's all the way by here actually, but... Alright, so I got to this part, and now I have to go back somehow. What happens if I just go over there? Oh shit. Ah! As you see, this game is still addictive, if you ever like this game. Um, I don't even know where you're going to go. Obviously not that way. Now, I haven't played this in a while, like, I remember going into these, and I think you just have to, um, aww. By the way, on this emulator you can save wherever you are, I mean, you can literally just press save and it'll save wherever you want it to save. Which is a good thing. I can just save here. As you see it says down there, quick save, blah 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 blah. Just alert him. Come on, come on. Thank you. And now you got a creep, which is R2 to creep by the way. And stay in the shadow until this guy comes around. And then just go straight <coughs> straight past him. And then you've completed the mission. Woohoo! That's that then. So this is a PSX emulator. Honestly you can just get this in torrents. Also I can't link you to it because it's like it kinda can get me in trouble. So yeah, um that's that and it's really awesome. I mean if you love PSX games then do it. And also you can use an Xbox 360 controller, it has all the buttons that you'll need. It actually has a pretty similar configuration except for the two triggers, that's the only difference. Yeah, so that's PSX Simulator, and have a nice day, and sorry about my failures throughout the game. If you notice throughout the, the game, the, the timer in the bottom right keeps skipping. That is because of my failures, by the way, and yeah, so goodbye.